Hi, today we're going to learn about two point and four point gate patterns. So my patient is going to be Deanne back here and we're just going to be teaching her how to do these gate patterns herself uh, for when she goes home. Uh, two point and four point gate patterns are designed for patients who have uh, partial to uh, full, weight, full weight bearing status. Um, so that means they can support at least some of their weight. And this is going to require a assistive device of some sort. Um, it's going to have to be on both sides, so either uh, two crutches, two canes, or just a full walker will work equally well. Alright, we're going to start off with a four-point gait pattern. The four-point gait pattern offers excellent stability, can be performed very slowly, and uh, requires very little energy. So this is ideal for any patients who require maximum assistance, or uh, it's also ideal for crowded areas, uh, just because it's easier, very easy to control. So we're going to explain how to do that for you, and then Deanne's going to demonstrate. In order to complete a four-point pattern, you're going to just move one of your four essential, what are essentially limbs at this point at a time. So you're going to start off with one crutch, then you're going to move the foot on the opposite side from that crutch. Then you're going to move the other crutch, and then the opposite foot once again. And then you'll just continue in that pattern from there on out, as Deanne is showing. And you can do this at whatever pace the patient is comfortable with. Put one foot in front of the other. All right, now we're going to go ahead and describe a two-point pattern to you. We're going to go ahead and start off by showing this to you. So Deanne's going to demonstrate that in order to perform a two-point pattern, you're going to move one of your supports, in this case a crutch, and the opposite leg at the same time. So she would move her left crutch and her right foot, then her right crutch and her left foot, as such. And she'll continue a little bit further. All right. This still offers fairly good stability, but not as good as the four-point. Um, it's also a little bit dis disadvantageous because it requires the coordination on the part of the patient to move a crutch and a leg at the same time. The advantages, however, are the ability to ambulate much more quickly. So some patients who are require a little bit less stability and less assistance will prefer this particular gait pattern. Alright, now we're going to talk about a couple of the modified gait patterns for 4-point and 2-point. The modified gait patterns are performed the same way except they use only one crutch. The advantage of this would be that the patient only has to carry one crutch or cane around with them at a time. Um, the disadvantage is because the only one crutch is being used, the amount of support and stability being offered is not going to be as much. So this should not be used for any patients who have truly only partial weight bearing status. It's more for patients who can really support most of their weight. Um, the crutch or cane or whatever assistive device you're using will always be held opposite the leg that um, needs to be protected. This will widen the base of support and move the center of gravity over the good leg. Alright, now Deanne is going to demonstrate a modified four-point pattern for you. This is going to be performed the same way as a regular four-point, only with one crutch. So, uh, Deanne's weak leg in this case is going to be her right, so she is holding the crutch in her left hand. In order to perform the modified four-point gait, she is going to move her crutch, then her right leg, then her left leg, and then repeat. Alright, finally, Deanne is going to perform a modified two-point for us. Just like the modified four-point, this is performed the same way as a regular two-point, only with a crutch in one hand. Once again, the right leg is going to be the weak leg, so we're holding the crutch in our left hand. In order to perform a modified two-point gait, we are going to move our crutch and our right leg at the same time, followed by our left leg, and repeat. <laughs> 